Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Sunday. How's it going? I just said, how's it going twice? And I've had my coffee, so I really have no excuse. You'll understand what this is in a minute. Um, no excuse for being so absolutely clueless, but what are you going to do? Um, anyway, sorry for the long absence in um, shooting my videos. Um, I always say, oh, it's been crazy, don't I? You probably watch my videos and you're like, oh, guess what? She's going to say, oh, it's been crazy. Oh, I've been so busy. Oh, you wouldn't understand. Um, yeah, but this is going to solve some of these problems. I'm going to address what this is in a minute. It's, a, it's for my dental work. I'm just kidding. Could be, actually. Um, but let me address a couple of things. So first of all, <laughs> I just want to say, I look so pale. I have not gotten any sun in a while. I'm looking quite pale. Um, and that brings up a point. So many of you have been writing me. Let's get all even. Um, sorry, I'm getting ready to go work out shortly. Um, so many of you guys have been writing me after my last videos and you're asking, um, of course some of you are saying, Kelly, when are you going to flex again? Blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, when are you going to talk about your workouts again? When are you going to do this? Maybe some of you might be getting bored with a little bit of the bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment stuff I've been talking about. Um, and everybody's like, when are you going to show your biceps or your delts again or whatever? I think the whole thing is, is like, when are you not going to be wearing long sleeves and sweaters and being chilly? Um, so let me just address that. It is Sunday. What's the date? Sunday, May 17th. Chicago. Um, if I could show you outside, I, I, and I'm not going to try to do that because I don't have a lot of time this morning. It is a dreary, no sun day. That was like a bad pun and I didn't mean to have it. No sun day, get it? Sunday? No sun day. I wasn't trying to be funny. I'm just saying it was a pun that I didn't intend. That was punny. <laughs> um, anyway, so it is dreary and kind of depressing outside. However, I'm not depressed. Um, but the thing about the weather here lately is, and this is what can be good and bad about my condo where I live, is at night, you know, like yesterday, it got up to 85 degrees and it didn't get up till 85 degrees until the afternoon. So it was sunny and very warm. Um, but at night, I still have always and always will, I think, like it to be very chilly for me to sleep. So at night I put the air conditioning on and my place in here keeps the coolness. It keeps my inside house very cool. Um, so it's very um, easy for me, even when it's relatively warm or maybe humid outside, to be inside and be a lot chillier than I should be. I, I hope I'm making sense. I probably am not. Um, but all that said, it's going to be a while, people, because probably another couple of weeks until it's really warm again and I can come out here and shoot a video. Maybe I'll just do it later in the day. Like right now, it's relatively early. I'm starting to get up about 6, 6.30 in the morning with my new sleep habits, all because of, sorry, I gotta bring it up, the uh, bioidentical uh, hormonal treatment therapy. Treatment, I, did I just say that right? Bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment. That's a lot to say. Um, I'm sleeping through the night. I actually don't have to take Advil PM to fall asleep for the first time in six, seven years. So it's a beautiful thing. And I'm also getting, this is what the doctor told me. He's like, you'll start to get more quality sleep. So you will find yourself waking up earlier. And he is not joking because you guys, I used to have a problem waking myself up. You know, I'd set my alarm for 730 and then I'd still have a problem. And I was I've shared with you guys, I used to get so stressed. I wanted to get up earlier. I naturally get up now at 6.30, um, sometimes 6, sometimes earlier, but that tends to be, you know, I'll go back to sleep. Anyway, um, so I'm shooting this video very early. It's a dreary day outside. I'm not dreary, however, because things are going really well. Um, now let me get back to these little doohickeys here because this thing, can you tell what it is? <gasps> um, this is... My PR lady, who is wonderful, Amal Wagner, um, who is amazing and has been a friend and somebody that has been chasing me to do um, 
more PR stuff for myself and, and for the business for a while. And she is wonderful and has so many great ideas and things that I go, why didn't I think of that? Um, but anyway, one of the things she said was, you know, stop limiting yourself to just shooting your videos here. I agree. Sorry, that was bothering me. Um, She's like, you know, do more stuff on the road. Well, one of the things I realized why I don't shoot video when I'm on the go as much is to set up this situation here, which is in front of me. It's a tripod with my wonderful Sony camcorder that I love and my remote control, which I love, and the ability to, you know, I can see myself in the, um, in the display when I'm shooting. So it's not like you're getting a video that's like, oh my God, I really love this, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I can see that I'm in the center. Um, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot for me to take this tripod and set it up. And then usually, again, I tend to overthink things. Like if I set this up and I was at Panera with somebody and I wanted to shoot a video, then I'd be all like, oh, the lighting's not good. You know, I overthink things. But I think um, when I saw, I actually was in Phoenix recently um, when I was going to get my first um, set of, pills and creams and injections for the uh, bioidentical stuff, you know, that was my, my second trip out there. I was actually in Old Town Scottsdale to meet one of my ambassadors and his wife um, for dinner, and I saw a bunch of people walking around with what looked like a, um, a stick, it's, this is a selfie stick, um, and they were shooting video of themselves as they were walking around Old Town Scottsdale, and I was like, hmm, okay. So, and then it was my sister, actually, that had said something to me about, like, well, I can't believe you, of all people, don't have a selfie stick. And I'm like, what does that mean? But you know what? I'm a late adapter on some things. Sorry about that. That's my screensaver. Um, so anyway, I ordered three things from Amazon.com that are about, like, a total of $25 spend. I need my bangs trimmed. Sorry, guys. Um, but this is a selfie stick, and I, I'll put the links down in the, um, in the video or excuse me, in the video description below. And if you're reading this on my blog, I'll put it in the links below. But I think I spent like $25 total. So this is a selfie stick. Obviously, this can expand greatly. Okay. Can you see this? So you can't see it now. But this is going out. Well, how tall am I? I'm 5'5". Five five, so this comes up to my waist, however tall that is. But I'm sure it's in the description on Amazon. And then this little thing on the top you know, this is where you, you put your camera in, okay? So then it's, it's really quite a beautiful thing. And down here is where you can plug it in and charge it. Here is your button so that when you have this and you have it out, whether you're taking like a picture of yourself and a bunch of friends or, you, well, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I think it's primarily for that. But think about, like I said, I saw those people walking and they were shooting video and they had this kind of down below like a total reality show moment, right? So you could do some cool stuff with that. Um, that was part one. Then the next thing I realized was, okay, why do I not shoot video on the road if I wanna just do something shorter? Um, it tends to be, again, there's a big difference. I love this Sony camcorder that I have, um, but I have to, in order for me to get this content that I shoot onto the internet, <laughs> it sounds so dorky, <laughs> I have to USB connect it and blah, blah, blah. It's not, you know, I bought this thing probably in 2009, if I'm correct, maybe 2008, probably, wait, I'd have to look, I mean, this might be seven years old. So it wasn't all like wireless savvy back then. It's wonderful and I wouldn't replace it. There's no need to replace it. And people actually ask me what I use because they like the quality of the video, not what's on the video, just the quality of the actual video. Um, they usually tell me to shut up and can it. Um, but anyway, because of that, I wanted to be able to use my camera on my Samsungs. I have two of these, the Samsung Galaxy Note, um, which I love. No more Apple products. Um, so I wanted to be able to do that, but how do I shoot video on a camera that's on my phone without just being like this? Hello, not to mention, well, I'm not even gonna get into that. So I looked up this beautiful thing. Now you're probably looking at this and I really need to screw this on tighter. But um, it's really just, I think this was like $6. 
this little, it's this top part, the bottom part, this, can you see this? I had several of these from, I think, either my tripod or the Sony. Um, so this is maybe, um, an, uh, um, it's an adjustment, not an adjustment. It's an accessory that you can screw in because then this goes into the tripod, which holds um, the attachments on top. I know what I just said made no sense to you, but hopefully you can interpret it. Like when someone texts you and you know that they have voice dictated or spell things incorrectly because of autocorrect, but you have the ability to interpret really what they meant, hopefully you can interpret what I've meant. This little thing on the top allows you to, you see this, spring-loaded? You put your camera in there. Maybe I can do it for you. Of course, I'll probably screw it up while I'm talking to you and scratch my camera. This is why I'm not gonna do it, because that's screaming, Kelly will screw it up. So this allows me to put my camera on my tripod, and although my camera, both of my Samsungs uh, are voice activated, I got this just in case, um, because who knows if I'd be using somebody else's. But this is, again, this was like $8 or something, but it's Bluetooth and it allows you to remote control with your camera. So those are brilliant things. I'm gonna start using them. My hair is bothering me today, as usual. Um, so it is Sunday, I'm getting ready to go work out. I'm also going to be changing up, uh, Whitney and I were texting back and forth today about um, now that I've been in the, the, um, the treatment, that sounds, if someone overheard that, they're like, Kelly's in rehab, uh, the bioidentical hormonal replacement therapy treatment. Um, now that I've been doing that for, I think, three weeks now, we are going to start really um, adjusting and tweaking my diet plan um, so we can start increasing my calories, but also start um, a new uh, workout focus because Whitney said, you know, we've got to change up your, your cardio, your body's acclimated to that, let's, let's start out something so totally new. So I'm actually very excited. I'll share that with you guys in my next video. I didn't plan for this to be a long one, but it is over 10 minutes, so I'm gonna zip it right now. I'm gonna go do my workout. Um, I am gonna work out at home today, and that's a little prelude to what's coming up. I think I'm gonna have maybe a um, little bit of a home training focus for a specific period of time, and there's a reason behind that. But I'm very excited about it. I'm very encouraged with the treatment so far. Um, I'll get into all of those details separately in shorter, more focused, precise videos, but today I'm just rambling on about, hey, I'm back, hey, I've got new tools, hey, I've got hair in my eyes, and um, that's it. Happy Sunday. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.